I don't remember doing them. Okay, do. Uh, uh, first, we complete that chapter. Questions, okay? Yeah. Open your PDF. We'll do that challenge questions. Question number one. So this is going to add two point two radian. So this length is given as eleven. So we want this B A. So just try it, tell me the answers. Is that degree 2.2? Yes, this is 2.2 radian. Okay, radian again. Okay. So total angle is two by nine. Yeah. So three point one. Okay. Six point two eight. Oh, we are trying to find the angle of BAD. B. O D. Okay. Just like. Yeah, you can find it. Two pi minus two pi. Yeah, yeah, I cannot. I cannot like. Can you, Lagging us for some reason. Is it 20.4? Correct, correct, yes. Okay. Yeah, I Next. think I did it I did it the long way, so do you have any tricks? No, no, same actually. You will get this angle, okay? Yeah. Total angle actually, so we can say that uh, if, if we have angle is two pi, so length will be two pi r, or you can yeah. say angle is 2.2. So the arc length is 11, okay? So when one, so it will be eleven by two point two. Okay. That will give you the radius, though. No, no need to find the radius. You can only the the five is five is the radius. Five. Five is the radius. Uh, how? Uh, so so I was using the uh, arc length formula. It's basically the theta mm -hmm. equals. Or L equal over the radius. Oh, yeah, yeah, L equals to theta by. Sorry. Theta equals to L by R. Yeah, okay. yeah. So the R so and, the R and then use it to find. Ah, I'm using just that unitary method. No need to find that. Okay. okay. So we want for this angle, so you can add this. Okay. Any method you cannot use. Actually, both are same method. Okay. okay. Question number two.
So we want this total area. So total area is 16 pi minus the area of this sector. Yeah, uh, area of the sector was okay. I got it. Is it like theta over 360 times pi r squared? Uh, that is in the case of actually when theta is in degree. I can convert it to, uh, into degree yeah. too. Yeah. No, actually, you can directly say that if angle is two theta, so area is pi r squared. Yeah. So the angle is two pi, that is 360. So the angle is one. So it will be pi r square by 2 pi. Yeah. When we have 1.5, so pi will cancel out i r square by 2 into 1.5. Mm -hmm. so this is 25 by 2 into 1.5. Yeah. Okay. This is option D. Option D. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Then question number three. So the radius. The circle in the equation da 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 da. Just this. So you can compare with x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equals to r square. Okay. So coefficient should be one. Okay. So you have to divide by thirty five, right? Huh? Yeah. So radius will be root of. 21.3.5. So this will be the radius. Got it? Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, now I now got it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Next. Question number four. Okay. So, what is the absolute change 
value of the change in height of the word. So this actually 900 will be removed from this area. Okay. So what is the volume? Let's say this height is H. So what will be the volume? LVH? Yeah. L is 24, B is 15, H we want, that should be equals to 900. Okay, no need to find the total area. Because oh, I, I did that. We will work on that, that volume that is removed actually. It has some height. I got 2.5. 2.5. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Last question, question number five. But didn't they, why would you make it equal to 900? Because this water is removed. Like I said, this height, this water is removed, not complete water. So it okay. has a height. Okay, so that is actually the change in answer. Or uh, otherwise, you have to find total area, total volume minus this remaining volume that will give you 900. Huh? So no need to do that. Okay. Okay. Whatever the reduction height that will be just because of 900 cubic inch. Okay, Thank last question. So we want volume of the waste. Sixty. Sixty, correct. Okay, cross-sectional area into perpendicular length. Got it? Yeah. So this was acidity challenge questions. It done. This was easy to be honest. Pardon? This was easier than the classwork. Okay, it then comes to chapter 12. That is also easy, actually. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, angles between parallel lines, that is corresponding angles. Yeah, yeah. 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 Corresponding yeah. vertical angles, alternate yeah. interior angles. Okay, don't, no need to uh, revise that? No, I don't think so. Okay, okay. But it's great. Do you know what is congruency of triangles? I'm not sure. No. I mean, I think I know that, but it's it's just that I don't memorize the words. Okay. I can like can you give me an example? Congruence next to we have one triangle ABC. Yeah. PQR. Okay. Mm -hmm. Angle, if angle A equals to angle B, angle B equals to angle Q. Oh, congruent triangle. Other than that, corresponding sides should be equal. A, B should be equals to PQ. Okay. B equals to QR. And A, C equals to PR. Okay. So that means they are actually mirror emotion. Both are similar figures. Okay. Same figure. Yeah, yeah I know so that. Two triangles are called congruent triangle. Clear? In the yeah. same way, if tri uh, circles are congruent, that means their radiuses are same. Radius are same. And yeah. their area is also same, right? Yeah, area is also same. Got it? Yeah. Uh, next is similar triangles. Do you know similar triangles? It's basically congruent. No, 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 actually. In I think their sides, sides are different, though. Sides, the ratio are same. Yeah, ra ratio, right? Yeah. Yeah, in this case, sites are actually equal. In the similar case, sites are 
in proportion okay proportion. clear mm. so okay so we have a limited criteria to prove that uh, congruence but that is not actually important you can prove that okay so similarity so we have bpt that is basic proportionality theorem in the case of similarity okay, so let's say we have one triangle a b c and if i draw any line segment parallel to any side so let's say i'm taking this bc now i'm drawing that de a line segment parallel to this side so i can say this line segment divides the other two sides the same ratio that okay ad by db so b equals to ae by bc okay so this is called a bpt basic proportionality theorem okay but clear or if i add one both the sides okay or before first i take a inverse so i can write b d b by a d equals to e c by a if i add one and take an lcm so this will be a d d b plus a d equals to a d then e c plus a So what is actually DB plus AD? AB. Yeah. Upon AD equals to this is nothing but your AC upon A. Okay. So that means this upon this equals to this upon this. Okay. Yeah. So directly we'll start with. Okay. If two triangles are similar. Let's say this A B C and P Q R. So their ratio of their area that means area of triangle A B C divided by area of triangle P Q R. This is when A B C is similar with triangle P Q R. Okay. So area ratio of area will be the square of the Ratio of the sides. So we can take any sides square, A B square by P Q. Got it? Okay. Clear? Do you know Pythagoras theorem and all? Yeah. Okay, so no need to discuss. We'll just start the question. Just try question number one from twelve point one. Is it D? Last option we are saying. Yeah. Uh, no. Okay then. I think it's D then. 
Sí. This is general. Right. It's X. It's a W. It's a U. And this is T. So it is given that X plus Y refers to U plus W. So first X equals to Z. Second Y equals to W. Third Z equals to T. So then you will see x I can write t okay or you can say u as y. So x plus y equals to u as y plus w. So this will cancel out x equals to w. Got it? Okay. But x plus y. X equals to I y equals y plus w. Pardon? Well, uh, how would you get x plus y and y plus w? This is given actually in the question. Okay, makes sense. Yeah. So there. Okay. So these are opposite angles, so I'm replacing this u with w. Yeah. Right. But here w is equals to z, so I can write x equals to z. Got it? So first is correct. Mm -hmm. So x equals to z, x equals to w, that means x equals to z, not y equals to w. Okay. Okay. So this is wrong. And what about z equals to t? So t equals to x. Yeah. So in this, I'm putting x equals to t, t equals to z. So third is also correct. What if? So option yeah. B is the answer, first and third. Okay. Try question number two. Is it A? A, correct. Uh, then question number three. What do we call these angles? Interior angles. Interior okay. angles. Okay. So their sum is 180. Yeah. Plus y equals to 180. But y is given as 3x. So it will be 180. 180 but, oh yeah. x equals to 45. Okay. It is asking for y. So 3 times 45. It will be 180. Okay, clear? Wait, it's 135, right? Pardon? 135. 135, 180 minus 40. Question number four. Is it C? C party, correct. Very good. Comes to question number five. Genius.
Is it C? C, one second. Clear. You want me to discuss? No, no. No, no, no. Uh, question number six. Is it B? Correct, B. Uh, question number eight. Thirty six, just a second. Is it one oh eight? Correct. Very good. Then question number nine. Okay, well, I, my picture is invisible. Pardon? The the picture is not visible. It's not that clear. Okay, okay, okay. Start it off. Okay. So we have two triangles. Yeah. This angle is Y. These are equal. The center. This is X. This is also X. These are equal sets. And given that 180 minus that equals to 2y, y equals to 75. So what is our load x? Is Can you draw? Can you tell me where Z is? Pardon? Oh, where is Z in the diagram? Oh, no Z actually. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Wait, wait, wait. I think this angle is Z. Okay. And it said, okay, okay. Uh, wait, if that's said, how is it equal to y? Hmm? No, z no. is equal to y then. No, z equals to? Why? Because vertical angles. No, they are not, they are not nine data. This is not nine. Okay, if it's a straight line, then only it's equal. These are not straight lines, okay? Makes sense. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I got Z as, Z as 30. Oh, wait, just a second. I, I think I got it. Z minus one. 30. Okay. Next so yeah. if this is 30 degree and this is isosceles triangle, so this will be. 180 minus x, this is 90. Oh, I got 105. Correct, correct. Got it? This is also yeah. 180. I didn't see those two lines. I was like, okay, I know what to do. Okay, uh, then comes to question number 12. 
Diagram is visible. Yeah. How did you do this wrong? Hmm. No idea? No. Okay, see. I know this angle, I know this complete angle, I know this complete angle, I know this complete angle. Okay. So no need to find these angles by uh, angles and property of triangles. Can I directly take A, B, Q, R? Quadrilateral. Yeah. So sum of angles will be should be 360 degree. So this angle A B plus this angle A plus this angle is 2B plus this angle is A plus C. Should be equals to 360. Right? Can, you, can you explain why it's 360? This is quadrilateral na? and this is some property. A, B, Q. Okay. Yeah, A, B, Q, R. I'm taking this. Okay, got it. This is actually simple way. Right? Otherwise, you have to take this angle, uh, find this angle, then apply the angle some property of yeah. triangles. No need to actually. We can directly take this coordinator. Okay, so we'll directly get. Okay, so what do we want? We want X value. No, not X value. What we want? B value. Okay, C value in terms yeah, of it's this. option D. C equals 360 minus 2B, uh, uh, CB minus yeah. 2B. Option D, last option. Got it? Yeah. Okay, no need to find these angles. Okay, directly you apply the coordinate. So, uh, then comes to question number 13. The length of the side of the right angle or consecutive even integers. So high potential will be the high longer side. Okay. Yeah. Any teasers means we have to add two. Because if I'm saying two, that next even integer will be four and then six. Got it? So the next will be x plus 4. So this is the, okay, so don't take this as x plus 2 and this x plus 4. This will be the long, longer side, okay? Now apply 5 to the So I can say x square plus x plus 2 the whole square equals to hyperlink square, that means x plus 4 the whole square. Clear? Okay. Got it? So option, which option? Option C. Okay, in the answer key, they have given as B, but that is wrong actually. Okay. Okay. Uh, that comes to question number 40.
Is it two? Correct. So you applied Pythagoras theorem. So this will be root two of x. Yeah. So x plus x plus root two of x equals two. Four plus two. It should take. This will be two x plus root two x equals to two into two plus two two. So x will be equals to. Okay. Uh, then question number fifteen. Next question. I'm going to C, 50. Got it? Yeah. Very good. Question number 23. 23, 23. We want this height maximum. Did you get? I don't even know how to start doing that story. Okay, see, can I say these, this triangle and this bigger triangle are similar triangles? Yeah. And so they are parallel lines and this is 90 degree. Two angles, if two angles are equal, the third, third angle will automatically equal. Angles are properties, they are similar triangles. So the ratio of these tiny start with you two ways. So I can say this will be two y. And three y, yeah. The same way this will be y. So this two y plus three y plus y should be equals to eighteen. Okay. So this will be six y equals to eighteen. So y will be equals to three. And want we want this high. So this will be three times of three. That is nine inches. Got it? Okay. Clear now. 
Ya. Question number 24. So we want to sum of these angles in terms of n. So can you tell me what will be the value of this angle? 180 minus x, 180 minus n. So, also 180 minus n. Okay, let's say this angle is AB, CB. In this triangle, can I say A plus B plus 180 minus n equals to 180? Clear? So, cancel. So I can say A plus B equals to n. In the similar way, can I say C plus D equals to n? And I want the sum of all these angles. So add A plus B plus C plus D should be equals to clear. Got it? Yeah. Uh, question number twenty nine. Twenty nine. It's an eight. Eight, that means A option. Correct. Uh, then question number uh, 32. Is it 10? Oh, wait. Hmm? Is it 12? How much? 12. No, no, no. Not 12. Just a second. A, B is 6.
not getting no see if this is a image so can i say this is that so this is all text is it so this is the mirror image of p and q p and q are mirror image so this should be at equal distance mirror image. it's a mirror image pardon does it say it's a mirror image your voice is not clear too wait does it say it, it's a mirror image yeah yeah they are saying na symmetric na p and q are symmetric about ad so p and q are symmetric about ad so they are image only na so equal yeah. the similar way they are mirror image so can i say if i am taking this y so this is also y okay. i want this complete length pr so pr should be equals to x plus x plus y plus y so this yeah. will times of x plus y but this x plus y this is x plus y this is given as 4 so it will be 2 into 4 that is 8 units got it yeah yeah okay. this is good question actually Okay, then comes to uh, SET chat. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, question number homework exercise. Question number eight. Homework exercise. Actually, this is the previous year SAT question actually is asked in the question exam. SAT exam. Are they similar triangles? Yeah. Why? Because uh, uh, the angles are similar and the sides are proportional. So eight times two is 16. Wait, wait, wait. How can you do sides are proportional? We don't oh. know. Sides oh. are not given. Only one side is given. Another is not given now. So actually, we have three criteria. Do you know? For similarity, we have three criteria. Either A A angle angle, or I can say A angle angle angle. Why I'm mm -hmm. saying both are same? Because if two angles are same in two triangles, so third will automatically equal. Okay. Second is S S S side side side. Corresponding sides ratio should be equal. 
and third is SAS side angle side that angle is included at okay so see this angle is given as equal reals okay and can I say this is also equal vertically opposite angle yeah so two angles are equal so obviously the angles are same similar okay. BE is 14, right? BC? BE is, is 14. 14? Is it so? I'm pretty sure, yeah. AB is 18. Uh, EB is 14. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so this EB is 14. Then BD is 7. BD is 7. Okay. And CD is eight. eight. So 70, 70, 14 is being divided by two. So eight can be multiplied by two and you get 16. Uh, that, that, that means you can apply after the similar, uh, when you prove that they are similar. Na? Because this is corresponding to this, you will get one is to two ratio. But yeah. in this case, you don't have this side. Na? You don't have BC side. Okay. As a result, you can write the both are triangles are similar. So we can say that 7 by 14 should be equals to 8 by x. Okay. Yeah. So x will be equals to 16. Got it? Clear? Yeah. Okay. Now I see the challenge question number one. So change the units first. Okay, I will keep in miles. On feet. But just just um you know that six mile. Is that the is that the okay? Yeah, never mind. I got it. I got it. Because this is question mark. We want this one now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting six point zero zero five eight. Yeah, so around seven, I think. Correct. I'm getting zero zero five eight, so. I don't think it's seven. Pardon? I'm getting 6.0058. Okay, 6.0058. 5, yeah. So they are actually how far in the miles does the train actually travels here? Okay, so it will be six actually. Should be six. It should, yeah, okay. Yeah, round off to six actually. Okay. Question number two. Hmm. The answer. What is the length of L? Is it eight? No. Okay, never mind. I, I was just assuming that. Don't assume. Yeah. yeah. Do you know that midpoint theorem? Do you know midpoint theorem? Yes. Uh, I mean, it, it splits the line in equal half. If we join the midpoints of these two sides, okay? So this line segment will be parallel to third side. And, and it, it will be half of this. If this is x, so this will be x y. X y, yeah. So you can use the, this concept here. 
Yeah. So that diagonal should be 16. No, not 16. They are similar actually. So ratio, which is okay. Ratio is one is to three. Is it 12? Yeah, 12. Got it? Yeah. So diagonal will be 24. Okay. Because ratio is one is to three. So six is to 18, one is to three. So diagonal will be 24. That will be 24. 12. Got it. Very good. Question number three. Oh, this is the 30, 60, 90 angle. Mm. What are the rules? I always forget the rules for 30, 60, 90. Uh, no need. This is going to be trigonometry uh, also. Okay. So what is the maximum height in meters? What is the maximum height? So I can just use the trigonometry. Yeah. Uh, this is 1.5. You can apply tan theta. Yeah. So tan of 30, that is nothing but three. tan 30 is 1 by root 3. H by 1. 3 over 2. So you can rationalize this. So 1.5 root 3 upon 3. So it will be 0.5 root 3 option. Clear? Wait. What did I do wrong? I got it wrong. Why? You have like tan 30? Yeah, I did tan 30 and then equals x over 1.5. Yeah, so tan 30 is 1 by root 3. Yeah, so you just multiply 1.5 times tan 30, right? No, no. x will be equals to 1.5 divided by root 30. No? It will come in division, no? root 3. Cross multiply. So it will be 1.5 into equals to root 3 times of h. So it will be 1.5 by root 3 now. Is it? Yeah, I'm, get, I'm getting root 3 over 2. How? Oh, root 3 over 2. Yeah. Yeah, that is correct. Yes, that is also That's correct. Right. Yeah, actually yeah. 1 by nothing but 0.5 only now. Yeah. yeah. Same, same. Correct, correct. Okay. Okay. So I used it quickly. I was like, wait, wait, wait. How did you get 0 0.5? And then I, I, I just got it now. And actually, you converted the fraction. Yeah. The question number four. Is it B? 56 degree. Very good. Then question number five. That is eight times ten. Thanks. Four over five.
I'm, I got the value for JK. Okay, JK, you got. Yeah. JK is 10 only, no? Yeah. And then O is L, never mind, never mind. That's 10, and the diagonal is. This is actually 8 by 10 only. Yeah. This is 8 by 10 only. So that means this angle should be this angle. Yeah, 240. This is also 38.66. Yeah. yeah. I want this angle beta. 90 minus that, right? So 90 minus 38.566. Oh, that was quick. I was trying to find the length signal. Never mind. Uh, can you tell how this angle is 90 degree? Why this angle is 90 degree? Why this angle is 90 degree? It's just, what do you call, um, HK and J, JM are parallel, right? That's why. They are parallel, no? so this angle should be equal to this angle, then? Yeah. And HJ is a vertical, a vertical line, that's why. JH, JL. JH is a vertical line. And it's going through two parallel parallel lines. That's why it's a ninety degree. Okay. Next question number six. Very good question. Question number six. Is it A? A, correct. So but actually, I don't know why though. Okay, okay, C. Because uh, I, I found the value of uh, the, the the thing. This thing? No, no, no. Uh, you know, do you see that D? Pardon? You know the whole line of D? No, no, this is actually, this length is D. Yeah, the, let's extend it like, the whole thing. Okay. Yeah. 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 I got two two for that. Actually, see, uh, uh, this is ninety degrees. Can I say this will be forty five degrees? Yeah. So actually, if we see, uh, we want the limiting condition. So I'm assuming that it's it is just touching the ground. Okay. So as the decreases from this value, it will not touch the ground. Yeah. So, okay. So, I can say, let's say this one. This is X. So, this is also X. 45 degree, now. Huh? Yeah. Clear? Mm -hmm. Anything is given? Our flag length is 2.4. So, this complete is actually 2.4. So, I can say this will be 0 0.4. So, this is also 0 0.4 because this is 2, now. Huh? Yes. This so that means tan of 45. Okay. Uh, sorry, not tan. We want D now. So we apply sine. Sine 45 should be equals to 0 0.4 by D. Yeah. So sine 45 1 by root 2 equals to 0 0.5 or D. So D should be equals to 0 0.4 root 2. Or the, this is the D when it is just touching the ground. 
but we don't want to touch. So these should be greater than this value. So two should be greater than zero point zero four. Okay, even not equals to. Got it? Yeah. You know your diagram is not proper. That's why. Okay. The diagram that you draw, the flag is touching the ground. I mean, the length are equal. No, 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 actually, no, no, actually, they have given the just general condition. It can be anywhere. But we want the limited condition. So this is not, a, this is, I have drawn. Okay, okay. So are... This is not actual diagram. This is not acceptable. So I'm just finding what is the value of D where it just touches the ground. Okay. okay. That limiting value as I got. So I can say that. D should be greater than that value. So it will not touch that. Got it? Yeah. Okay. So last question, question number seven. On this exercise. Uh, don't see the options actually they are copied from the question number five okay mm. is it 50 correct very good okay so with this, we have completed this chapter. Okay, and you will just try the homework exercises. SAT we have completed. Okay, so we'll take a break of five to ten minutes, and we continue with the uh, session fourteen. Okay, in which we will complete that uh, exponential growth and uh, trigonometry. Okay, so oh. we that five to seven minutes. Okay, okay, Hans? So, uh, do you know if, what is the graph of fx equals to a power x? How we draw? So, you so are. Like this. Uh, that is. This is the graph. Okay. Yeah. So, we use this graph in the case of, let's say, for a compound integer, if I want dr, dk. Anything decay, okay? Any product is decayed or depreciate by some uh, rate. Okay? So, if actually this graph is depend on a. So, for example, if I'm taking a is two, so graph will be two power x. So f x equals to two power. That means if I'm putting x value, so it will be multiple of two. So, as we increase the value of x, our this value will also increase. Okay. But if it is a value is one by two, so graph will change. Okay, as we increase the value of x, our value will reduce. See, if I put x value is one, so it will be one by two. But if I put x value is two, so it will be one by four. So this, which one is greater? One by two, one by four. Half is greater. Okay, so that means value is decreasing. So that means this graph is when. A is greater than one. Clear. But if A is greater than A is less than, or we can say in between zero to one, so graph will be like this. Okay. So this is the graph, and f is equals to A power x when A is in between zero to clear. In the same case, can I say one by two power x? That means two power minus of x. Yeah. Yeah. So it will be this will represent the graph of a power of minus x, or I can say this will represent the graph of a power f x equals to a power minus x when a, a is greater than one. Yeah. The same graph will be a power minus x. Got it? Yeah. Clear?
So I'll do some questions okay, on the basis of this exponential growth. Open that PDF, chapter 14. Question number uh, 13. <clears throat> Question number 13. Can you tell me the answer for this question? Your volume is low, audience. Uh, I'm opening the. Which option? The reading. Yeah, hey, option 13, right? Which question option? 13, right? Question 13. Okay. 13. When the vapor pressure of a water at various temperature is dropped. Is it C? C, very good. Because B and D are not possible. Okay. So A is not possible because for 100 degrees centigrade, its vapor process is less than 20. Okay. So it should be actually 760 mm. Very good. Uh, question number 14. Is it C again? 14 is C. Very good. Uh, then comes to question number 20. The option, never mind. Is it D? D, no. C? Uh, B, B. B, B, correct. What is? Uh, I'm not sure why 300 comes first. Okay, never mind. There is more spread, more, more. Thank you. Okay. Clear? Yeah. Okay. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन Just see the data and you can answer easily. And options with options. Is it mm -hmm. which one? Mm -hmm. C. C. Correct. Question number twelve. And why is it not increasing linear? Why is not increasing linear? Because if it is increasing linear mean, it should be CR. If it is increasing linear, so it should be in the form of y equals to mx plus p. Yeah. Got it? So CR. If you draw the graph, the CR, 0, 100. So it should be 100. Okay. Then 5, 1000. It will come here. Yeah. Then 10 comma 10,000 it is coming. So it will not form a straight line. Huh? Okay. Okay. It should be like it. Okay. Exponential. Got it? Yeah. Well. So what is the value of y in terms of n? Um, which option? B. Okay, makes sense. Yeah. I forgot to make a equal to two or three. Okay. Okay. Uh, directly comes to SAT challenge question. Okay. There are a lot of questions to do in SAT challenge. Okay. Start question number one. Is it B? Which one? B. B. Why? So when you make x equals zero, uh, the y-intercept is two, and uh, when you make x equals one, the y uh, the y the y, y, y value is one point five. 
But I, I have told you now, this is the graph when A is less than in between 0 to 1, A, 0 to 1. Or I can say it is, if A is greater than 1, then it should be minus of X. Okay? Plus yeah. one, one option is there, minus is not there. So we can say option B is in the answer. Okay. Question number two. Either use graph or you can directly say by equations also. So negative three. Three, very good. Question number three. Wait, uh, Riyans, can you tell if minus is not there? So, what will be the answer? What should be the answer if minus is not there? So, which option? Oh, I don't, I don't see the minus. Never mind. So, if it's, if it's this. So you're turning to the is it is it option D? Option D. No, no, Rians. And that's why I'm asking. Just tell me if minus is not there. So what will be the graph actually? It should be like this. A is greater than one. Huh? Yeah. Now see, if I put minus here, so can I say every y value should be change sign? Should, should change their sign? Okay, yeah. let's say if I'm getting two values here. So now I, I will get two here. If I'm getting this three here, so now I will get this value, negative value. So can I say it will be mirror image with respect to x-axis? Yeah. Okay. Right. okay, so option B will be the answer. Okay, don't worry, we will discuss these things in the session 10. Okay. Yeah, I got this. Uh, I just think I just thought four over three is less than one. It was okay, just okay. a mistake. That is actually four by three. That is greater than one. Okay. Yeah. Question number four. We'll do this uh, very uh, vastly. We will do this on certain in the graph part. The transformation that is important. Is this negative two or five? One is two or five, or five by two. Okay, two or five negative the same, like this. Negative two or five. This thing you are saying. This one. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes. It is talking a lot about people with respect to why. Just a second. Let me try. With respect to why we want? Yeah. So, can you tell me? It's going to be like this. Enough of this will be like this. It's going to be the opposite. On the y axis. Opposite? Yeah. So when it will be opposite, let's say 8 is 8 here, x is x here. So oh, 5 over 2. 5 over 2. Okay. Clear? Yeah. Question number 5.
Is it 2.97? No. Actually, it is actually, uh, this is 4.04 .04 into 1.07 power x. Okay, it is like this. Oh, never mind. I did minus because I saw minus. Is it 4.3228? So actually this part will represent the percentage increase. Okay, so this point seven will represent seven percent growth now. Okay, so answer will be seven. Okay, got it. For each one degree, what sub percent increase? Okay, makes sense. Got it. Yeah. Okay, question number six. Is it just 400? Correct, very good. Question number seven. He lent or lent. Length is S, okay, okay, makes sense. It's gonna, I forgot the way you did to do this. Just a sec, uh, let me try again. So I know that when you dub, when you're squaring it, the volume should be times four. So actually, as yes, they are increased by thirty percent, so it should be one point three zero s. Should be okay. And why height remain constant? So so volume is increased by. So let's say this is v one. So v two will be equals to. S dash square H by three. Okay. Clear. So what is the increase in volume? That will be V2 minus V1 by V1 into 100. Okay. It? Yeah. Okay. So I'm putting the value. So this H by 3 S will 3 will cancel out. Okay. So this will be H S square minus S square upon S square into 100. Got it? S square. So I'm separately dividing, so it will be S dash by S whole square minus of one. Okay, times hundred. Got it? Mm -hmm. yeah. So S instead of S S, can I write one point three upon one point three S upon S square minus one? Got it? So S will cancel out. So what is the Square of 30, 169. Yeah. So 169 or four point will come here. Okay. Because so one point so one point three zero. Got it? So it will be one point six nine. Okay. Minus one into hundred. So this will be zero point six nine into hundred. So sixty-nine percent increase in the world. Clear? Kind of, yeah. Okay. Question number eight, next question.
We want T when population is doubled. Okay. Twenty five. Initial is twenty five. So is it one point zero six? Very good. Very good. But the initial population is twenty five. Okay. So double it will be so it should be two times of twenty five. So this will cancel out. So bases are same. We can compare the powers. So T by one point zero six will be equals to one so equals to one point. Very good. Question number nine. So we want lowest height. So what is the lowest height when x value will be one nine five five? Because we want the minimum height. Okay. Okay, so this is always positive value, no? Rayans square. So this complete value is positive. Okay, so this will not comes out to be negative. So anything you put value of x, you will get some value more than hundred. Because this yeah. value will add. We want lowest. Lowest will be when this value will be zero. Okay, so when it will become zero? When x equals to one nine five five. Got it? Yeah. So when it is zero, so height will be. Under lowest height. Got it? If they ask at what value of x it will be minimum, okay. So answer will be 195. Got it? So in this case, minimum value will be 100. Clear? Mm -hmm. Question number 10. I think same question nine and ten. So we want maximum. So when it will be maximum? Because this value is positive, but this complete value is negative. So it will always give a value less than B. Is it so, friends? So what is the maximum value? B at what s equals to A. So which option is the correct? C. Yes. I'm not sure. Okay. C. C. We want this value as maximum. Now, what is the best best interpretation of A? Okay. So, is it clear? This value will be positive. Always positive. Okay. When we multiply this positive with our negative sign, overall value will be negative. Yeah. So total performance will be always less than or equals to B because this will subtract something from B. 
Okay, so we got maximum. So when it will be maximum? When it is zero, nothing will be subtract from this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So when it is zero, when it s equals to a, okay, at s equals to a, this value will be maximum. That is equals to b. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Done? Yeah. Question number 12, 11. Okay, leave it. This is a trigonometry question. Okay, so Riyans, as you observe, uh, there is two exercises in this chapter. Okay, so one by that exponential good and second is trigonometry. Okay, so that topic I will cover in the next class, trigonometry. Okay, so except that uh, we have uh, pending with two topics. Uh, session 10 and session 11 okay i think other topics are covered money sir covered that 8th and 9th yeah okay so 10th and 11th are pending and some portion from the session 14. clear so the no, next <laughs> pardon your voice is for question 11. Uh, rest, your voice is breaking uh should we try to solve question 11. Should we try to solve? Oh, question 11, yeah. Do uh, you want to try? Yeah, no. why not? Ah, yeah, okay, then try. Try question. <laughs> so they will ask basic absolute agreement. Yeah, yeah, I saw I saw the question, uh, I saw the basic explanations. I was like, yeah, I, I think I did this. Okay. Is it uh, option B? Correct, 3.57. Okay. okay. Uh, other questions or technology in the next class? Yeah. Okay. Try to complete that homework exercises. Okay. Clear? Yeah. The next two class, we will cover to complete this syllabus. That syllabus. Okay. Okay. Sure. Thank you. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you.